in this video i'm gonna give you guys a quick overview on what is pre-season testing in formula one and the importance of it so before we jump into the video i would like to give a quick disclaimer that this video is for the people who just got into formula one and are clueless about what is the purpose of pre-season testing and if you have any further info about pre-season testing that i've missed in this video please feel free to leave it down in the comments so with that being said now let's jump into the video guys so the pre-season test is to make sure that everything with the car is working fine before the season opener. Teams now usually run their car in the facilities for 200 kilometers to shake down on everything, but nothing comes remotely close to actually running the car out on the track under racing conditions, and that's what the preseason testing is for. Preseason test used to span across 10 days in the past, but it has now been reduced to 3 days to cut short on the expenses. The preseason test also helps the teams and drivers to warm up to what's to come for the next 10 months. The 3 days of running the car on track helps the team test the reliability of parts and it also helps the drivers to get used to to their new car. Feedback and data received from the drivers and sensors help the team analyze their concept to further refine their development path for the car. As you probably heard a million times now, lap times don't really matter in the preseason test, as the team that actually has the pace used to sandbag their cars to stop showing their actual pace advantage to their competitors. And teams run different run plans to further refine and optimize their car, so it's kind of hard to predict on what could be the pecking order. But you sure can get a rough idea of the performance pecking order by analyzing the lap times, the consistency of lap times on the designated run plan and by also looking at the onboard of the car. Mm, kinda like how we predicted Aston Martin to have made a huge step forward last year with their car just by seeing how the car handled the corners. I mean preseason test is not for everyone. The ones who expect for it to be exciting and engaging all the way through for the three days it's definitely not your cup of tea. But for the ones who are eager to see the cars back out on track and are into the design and data of the cars, this could probably be the most exciting three days of your month. And I sit somewhere in the middle in the spectrum. I enjoy reading the data and watching the onboards of the cars, but lack the patience to sit through an entire preseason test broadcast. So what I end up doing is I play the broadcast in the background as I do my work, so I can hear on everything that's happening out on the track and watch it when something interesting happens. I also I love to read articles on the technical analysis of different car designs and how they impact their performance. It helps you have a slightly better insight into the cars that you will be following for the next 10 months. I mean, I don't consider myself to be an aerodynamics or a design nerd, but I definitely do enjoy knowing what's happening with each car and what's going to be their strengths and weaknesses across the season to see how the teams work around it or troubleshoot it. I mean, when I was first introduced to the sport, these numbers and technical aspects of the sport was too complex and jarring. But the more I started leaning into the sport, all these kind of aspects kind of suck me into its world. Though I still have a lot to learn and will probably make a lot of mistakes along the way, one thing will never change and that would be that I will not stop loving the process of learning the sport. And I have to say that these aspects of the sport are now less intimidating. So yes guys with that being said I would like to wrap up this video. If you found this video to be informative and if you enjoyed this video make sure to the like button. And if I had missed out on mentioning something that's crucial that people should know about the preseason test make sure to leave it down in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed to the Rainmaster channel already, make sure to the subscribe button. Also hit the bell icon while you're at it so you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. And until next time, it's me Vinesh from Rainmaster and I'm out. Love you guys. Stay safe. Peace.